Hey cuties, I'm Nikki, and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is the bold and the beautiful edition. All right, guys, today is Monday, November the 28th, 2022. On a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give it a 10. It was a solid episode for me. And I, I honestly thought we were going to have to wait forever for this truth to come out. So the fact that it came out this early, I am ecstatic. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. Okay, we start off with the um, Logan. So they're over here. You know, Lucy is there. Steven is there. Katie, Donna, and Brooke. And they're just trying to support her because, you know, it's Ridge's wedding day and she just does not understand. But Lucy is real sweet. She tells um, Steven, I'm going to wait for you at the um, airport. You have a few moments, you know, with your daughters, because I know our flight has to, you know, go and everything. So, and they were like, okay, dad, we like her. So then he and Brooke talk a little bit, you know, Katie and Donna are still there, but they talk and he just tells her, if Ridge loves you, this ain't it. He said, you hear, you got, you girls go with men that just let you down. He said, starting off with me, and I do like that he took accountability, but he said, starting off with me, and they were like, no, dad, like you've really tried to change. And he said, I know, he said, I'm just trying to be better, but I started this whole thing where y'all fall in love with these men who are no good for y'all. And he said, if Ridge loved you, he would have gave you some expl explanation on why your marriage is ending. He wouldn't be over there marrying, t marrying Taylor. So think about that when you think about taking him back. And so then they have to, they, she, Brooke starts questioning. She's like, he knows how I feel. He knows I didn't want the annulment. He knows I didn't want him to marry Taylor. He knows all of this, but he's still doing it. And I said, yes, Brooke, come on home, come on home and don't let him off the hook. Even when you find out the truth, he still thought you did it. And instead of just saying, Hey, you made this call. He still, you can't confess to something that you don't know that you've done. So Ridge really didn't give you a chance to even fight for the marriage. And he definitely didn't because he thought you, and do you really want to be with somebody who think you would be every time you turn around, it's you're doing something bad to them. Like they always believe the worst. Do you really want to be with someone like that? And that's what they're pretty much try, starting to tell her that because y'all know hope has been kind of saying the same thing about Ridge. Like you always have to just be be this person around him, be so great around him. And, you know, he can never let anything go and forgive you. And so maybe he's not the one for you. And I wish Brooke would see this too. I mean, but then again, I don't want, ta I don't want Taylor Woodbridge. So I do like that Brooke has been with him. So I am not a catch 22. Really. I want them both just to leave him alone. But anyways, y'all Brooke is sitting over there at a press and she said, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Dad, you're here. You're not going to be here long. I don't want to just keep harping on my marriage. I want to just enjoy the time being with um, you and my sisters and everything. So they, you know, they start to do that. All right. So then y'all, we go to this wedding and then, okay, so Taylor, she's made it to the altar, right? And, you know, Fridge told her on last Wednesday, you know, what's up? You looking like, you looking like you got something to say. And so she's, she's looking like, oh, okay, I'm a, I just, and so then little Douglas is looking, you know, cause him and Steffi is out of eye. And he told, she told him, she nodded her head, letting him know it's going to work out. So little Douglas is looking like, okay, she about to tell him, okay, the secret's going to be come out. Man, Taylor didn't say nothing. <laughs> said Taylor now you know you're my girl you know you're my girl I don't want you with Ridge but if you're gonna get with him I don't want you to get with him this way I want you to say something because he loves what he loves about you is that you have this integrity and you have these morals and you're a good character and you're honest and this ain't it girl and so she's um she's just like oh, oh my gosh and so you know Carter is just like Taylor you got something to say and so then she starts talking this whole speech about how, oh, it's just that, you know, it's been so long and you're the man of uh, all these years and I just stayed loyal and I've stayed true. I'm paraphrasing. And I, I just, I'm so excited to be marrying you today. And it, it's our day. So T Thomas is looking like, yeah, mama, go ahead and marry him. And Steffi's looking like, I know you lying, but Taylor said she happy to be with Ridge. He told her he loved her and she going to stick to it. He told her he wanted to marry her and he was, he wasn't going to hurt her anymore, hurt her anymore. And she's going to, she's going to stick to it. I said, girl, you know, that man made them promises on the false pretense, right? 
He didn't know. He didn't know that Brooke didn't make the phone call. Like, girl, like Taylor, you know, you've been knowing something was up. But anyways, they're like, okay, then. So then Carter, he starts the wedding ceremony, right? So he going through the wedding ceremony and he's talking about, I said, Carter, you airing this up. So he's going through the wedding ceremony and he's talking about um how, you know, Ridge cares for Taylor and he started listing all the th- reasons why she's a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful spirit. She's a beautiful soul. She's just so great. Her integrity and the what he loves most about her is her honesty and she's the compass of the family. She's the North Star. She's the moral moral um compass she keeps the family in line she doesn't lie to him and he just go on and on she said taylor said that you know ridge was her her best friend her lover she she he he lord they said ridge said he likes her sense of humor i said i couldn't tell (laughs) every time taylor cracks a joke ridge i don't know but anyways so they going, he going on and on or whatever. And Steffi just looking like, uh-uh. And Douglas looking at his auntie like, w- what you going to do? Because this can't happen. And baby, and then Carter gets to the point where he says, um, does anyone, uh, what is the part where they say, does anyone uh, object to the wedding? Speak now or forever hold your peace. And Steffi said, I got to speak. So she pipes up and they said, she said, I, I can't y'all like, I want y'all to get married, but not this way. I object. And so they look at her like what? And so she looks at, um, Thomas and Taylor, like, uh, uh-uh, uh, y'all not gonna have my daddy marry my mama. Y'all, you know, she not he not gonna marry you, mama, on false pretenses. He has to marry you because he wants to marry you. So she says, then that's exactly what she said. Talk, tells them, he's. She was like, you need to know the whole truth, and the whole truth, this ain't it. And so they were like, what are you talking about? And so then she and Thomas start going back and forth and Taylor is looking worried because she already know that you hadn't walked your butt up to this altar knowing the truth and you weren't going to say anything. So she's looking worried. And so Thomas and Steffi going back and forth because he's like, keep your mouth shut. And she said, oh no, I'm, I'm going to say something because you... She was like, Dad, you're marrying mom because if you're doing this because you're heartbroken over what you think Brooke did, then you need to know that's not the truth. And Thomas said, I thought you wanted them to be together. She said, I do, but not like this. So they're like, Steffi, what's going on? And so then she starts saying, okay, listen, um, Thomas made the CPS call. And they said, what? <laughs> and she said, yes. Thomas was the one who uh, made the CPS call. He made the CPS call, dad. Um, she tried to get Thomas to say it. She tried to tell Thomas, Thomas, tell him what happened with the CPS call with Brooke. And he wouldn't do it. So then Ridge was like, well, why are you bringing up this call? She said, because you, you're you thinking that Brooke did something that she didn't do. She said, remember all those times you tried to get her to confess and she you tried to give her a chance, after chance to confess and she just wouldn't. Well, you can't confess to something you don't, you don't know that you've done. And she said, he, she was like, she didn't make the call. And he was like, well, who did? And she said, Thomas. And he was like, what, what, what you talking about, girl? Uh-uh. What are you talking about? This doesn't make any sense. And she said, Thomas, tell him. And Thomas is like, I don't know what you're talking about. And so then you know, Finn had told the kid had sent Lee away, right, with Kelly. And he told Kelly, Lee, go take Kelly to the kitchen. Go take the kids to the kitchen is what he said. But you know, Lil Douglas said, I ain't moving. <laughs> So Lil Douglas wouldn't go. And so then Thomas, because he know, he know Lil Douglas, he said, I think Lil Douglas should go to the kitchen as well with Lee and Kelly. And Steffi was like, stop trying to um get rid of Douglas. Stop trying to manipulate this whole situation or whatever. And she said, um, he's not going, in, you know, she, she didn't say all that, but she was like, he's not going anywhere. Thomas, you're just trying to hide the fact that you know that you made this CPS call. And so when she tells Ridge this, he... He said, I heard the phone call. She said, you heard what you thought was Brooke on the line. He said, yeah, I heard Brooke's voice. And she said, but it wasn't Brooke. It was Thomas. And it was like, "Uh uh-uh. And so then they start hearing Brooke's voice with the CPS phone call, right? And and Ridge turns around. He's like, what what is this going on? And it's Lil Douglas. And he says, what's going on? And so Lil Douglas stands up because, you know, you got to play his part. So he stands up and they're like, "What, what you doing? What are you doing with that? Um, and Thomas tries to tell him to stop it. And they're like, what are you doing with that? And, um, this is Ridge telling him, what are you doing? Like, why are you playing with that? And 
Steffi tells him, stop. Hold on, let him finish. And she tells Douglas, go ahead, it's okay, because Thomas is shooting daggers at little Douglas. She said, go ahead, it's okay, keep going. And so he he plays the next part, and it's Thomas doing the call. Baby, Eric's eyebrows went up, he said, what? <laughs> and so then everybody who knows that they thought it was Brooke, because Carter has no clue that, that about that part, but everybody who knows that they thought it was Brooke are like, oh my gosh, because Finn goes and he stands by little Douglas, right? And then Eric holds onto his arm because they realize, oh my gosh, he he been knowing that his daddy made the call on himself. And so Rich says, what's going on here? And little Douglas says, it's an app on my phone where if you get somebody's voice, you can make it say, make it, you know, be whatever you want it to be, make their voice be whatever you want it to be. And he said, so that's when Bridge started realizing that Douglas made the call because they said it wasn't Brooke. Sophia again tells him it wasn't Brooke, it was Douglas. And he was like, what? What? And so he turns around to Thomas. Oh, Lord, I held it on too long because all these people are going on. But anyway, so Ridge turns around to Thomas and he like, oh, what's happening here? And Thomas said, listen, it doesn't matter about that CPS call because you said that you loved mom. So whatever that's and that you and you proposed to mom because you said that you loved her, even when you knew Brooke had made that CPS call. So you you got to stand 10 toes down. And I said, gas like much? <laughs> like, you're not going to ma- manipulate this situation. And Rich said, no, he's not. He said, oh, you did this. He said, you knew how I was going to feel if I found out Brooke did that, made a call like that. You knew how I was going to feel about someone attacking my family. He said, you ruined my marriage. He said, you're playing with my life, Brooke's life, your mom's life. What's wrong with you? And Thomas tries to say, I, I want you to be happy. He was like, do I look happy? Rich told him, do I look happy right now? No, you don't. And so everybody is just like, ooh. And then uh, Taylor grabs on the stiffy because, baby, Ridge is going to realize that they're telling him and not telling Taylor. And I said, girl, you should have told before your daughter told you should have told what was up, excuse me, Sinus. You should have told what was up before um, Steffi told, because now this not going to look good on you, ma'am. He's going to look at you like you knew this and you were still going to marry me. Like, when were you planning on telling me? Because it doesn't look good. And you know, Taylor's my girl. And I, I would have rather she told him and then he would have been like, okay. Because then maybe he would have been, you know, still wanting to marry her. But this gives him an out now. You know, this does give him an out to be like, you You were going to lie to me exactly what I didn't want to do. That's what you were going to do. And so I don't know, child. So then Ridge is just like, tells Thomas, you're my boy, my son, and you ruined my marriage and you were supposed to be changed. I said, now Ridge, you knew he had no 100% change because that's the whole reason you and Taylor keeping the secret um, about him knowing about the champagne switch up from Brooke, but okay, we're well, we going to say he changed all the way, but anyways, y'all, that was the bold and the beautiful, but Ridge is heartbroken, he cannot believe this, and we're going to find out tomorrow what he's going to do about Taylor, because he's going to realize that she knew it too, and so anyways, y'all, that was the bold and the beautiful today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, I will be going live on Wednesday to discuss all this, because hopefully it will be over by then, but we'll be going live on Wednesday, so if you want your comments read, go ahead and drop them in, and I'll be reading comments, and I'll have a phone call if you want to be able to uh, call in and just give your thoughts on it as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for an all-new episode of What Happened on the Soaps, the Bold and the Beautiful Edition. Goodbye.